Another ceremonial opening of Parliament in the shadow of the COVID-19 pandemic. Members of the parade, precision personified. Governor General Sir Rodney Williams inspects the parade before delivering the throne speech, part of the trappings of the country's Westminster democracy. As he delivered the throne speech, Sir Rodney outlined the immense impact of the pandemic on productivity, but also explained what kept the economy afloat. Commendations are in order for our ministers of works, investment and finance, their teams and many private investors who opened their pocketbooks when it mattered most. Their, their joint efforts kept our nation afloat during one of our darkest moments. He said the upshot was that the government did its part to maintain a level of aggregate demand and keep the economy from tanking. The Ministry of Finance is to be commended for the sterling task it undertook to meet the demands of an undiminished public sector whose salaries and wages were paid on time each month and each week respectively, despite the COVID pandemic. And all government pensioners were also paid not always on time, but within reasonable time, considering the circumstances. Again, there were no layoffs of public servants, thereby helping to keep the economy afloat. Regarding Social Security pensions, the Governor General says the government has had to prop up the scheme using CIP funds to counterbalance the fall off in contributions from the private sector. The Governor General expects the timeliness of payments to improve. As the economy begins to recover, the burden of meeting the shortfalls is likely to lessen, and on time payments are expected to continue into 2022. The government will now be looking to turbocharge the recovery in the economy on the back of the traditional tourism industry, agriculture, as well as the green, blue, and orange economies. The Governor General says while it is unclear how the pandemic will play out, the government's response has inspired confidence. Based on the experience garnered during these past 21 months, my government demonstrated that it is a superb management entity that has shown its competence and resilience in the face of an existential threat. Its sterling service to the people of this great country deserves unending applause. I say to them, congratulations.